Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to do a full painting without any cuts. So I've uh, covered the whole canvas with uh, black acrylic, and then on top of that I put uh, brown made out of red and green. So we'll get started. I'll take a two inch brush and pull it through some white paint. And we'll come up here and we'll just begin dancing in some mist here just with little X's. Just bounce it in. And let it come down to about there. I think we're going to do a nice waterfall today. And so this will give us a nice little misty area in the background. Now I want it to be nice and light here and they get darker as it comes up. Then we'll blend it all back down, just like this. Okay, now we can go through some brown with the two inch brush, and I'll add a little bit of yellow to it, and some white to lighten it up. here and just shape some distant trees in the mist. Just a little. We're going to be putting some more trees on top of this, but, but this will show through the mist and, and it'll look like it's far away. Okay, now we can put just a little bit of highlight on those, just with the two inch brush and some yellow and white and brown. We can come up here, just stick a little highlight on them, not much, just a little. Okay, now we can make some big trees up there. I'm going to make a nice dark brown with the two inch brush. And we'll come up here and start painting in some big old trees that just hang right in, just like this. Don't cover up all of your background trees, those are nice, we want to save them. Just drop in this big old tree. And something about like that. And we can do the same on the other side. Just this nice big old tree. We want to keep this pretty dark. We'll put a little bit of highlight on it, but we want it to be pretty backlit. Alright, now we can put some highlight on that with a little bit of yellow and white. And now we can come up here and just Tap in a little highlight. We don't need a whole lot, just a little. Just a little. Now let it get darker off to the side. Because we want all of the, the interest in the painting to be here, and it'll, we'll just let it kind of get darker out there. 
just using the corner of the brush and tapping. And we'll let it get darker toward the bottom too. And we'll do a little on the other side. We'll come up here and just the same way, just with the corner of the brush, just tapping. Get these nice little highlights. take a script liner and I'll get a nice light brown color something like that and I'll come up in here and paint a couple of little tree trunks in these trees just like this I'll thin it down just a little bit more and do a little on this side too Let's see, we can do another little bush. I think it'd be nice to have another bush, small one right here. Just kind of silhouetted against the mist there. Just like that. And uh, let's throw a little bit of highlight on that too. Just a little. Just like that. And we'll give him a little tree trunk too. Alright, now with the fan brush and some white, we can come over here and just paint in a little waterfall, just right here, just like that. And we can grab a clean brush and just Blend it a little. Alright, now I'm going to grab a knife and some brown and green. And we can come up here and shape a little rock that goes just right in front of that, pushes it back. Maybe we'll bring it out a little bit further. Really push that waterfall back. That's better. And you can just begin shaping your little rock ledge right here. Just like this. And we might have a couple of small rocks on the other side too, so I'll just quickly underpaint that. And something like that. Okay, now we can highlight those. I'll take a little bit of brown and white on the knife. Something about that color right there. Cut across and get a little roll of paint. We can come up here and just throw a little highlight on this. I'm going to mix up a little bit more brown. And add a little bit more white. There, that's better. Oh yeah, that's better. And we come over here and just keep on doing that little rock ledge there. Put a little more of that over here. And maybe make another little thing that sticks out like that. And now, with just this smallest little amount of paint, we can come over here and just shape the edge of that cliff, just like this. Tiny, tiny little bit of paint. We can come just like this. Just let your knife barely touch. Barely touch the canvas. Just like that. And now, we can throw some highlight over here too. Just let it bounce right over those rocks. Just like this. Alright, now back 
to the one inch brush here. I'm going to take some white and some yellow and brown and maybe a little bit more white. And I'm going to push to load that brush. Just give it a push. And we'll come over here and think about some little bushes that live just on this little cliff here. I might lighten that just a little. And a couple more right here. And maybe one right there. And maybe we'll have... Ooh, that's a nice light one right there. That's probably a little bit too light. I'm going to darken him up a little. Yeah, that's better. And we can bring another one like that. And another like this. Kind of cover up the bottom of your trunk. And we can do the same to this side. Just use the corner of the brush. Just tap and get these little bush shapes. Kind of let them grow around the rocks. Add a little more yellow to that color. Have a couple right here. Just grow around the, the little tree trunks. And it's probably a good idea to uh, clean up around your rocks with the bush color. It kind of sets the rocks down into the painting. Makes them fit a little bit better. Just like this. And put another one over here. We'll just fill all of this up with some nice bushes. We can even make the bushes grow right over the cliff, just like this. smaller bushes. We're going to have water here, so these will kind of be right up against the water there. Just like this. And throw a couple right here. Alright, I think that's about all we need for bushes. Now I'll take a clean brush and go through some white. Just plain old white. I'll come up here, pull straight down. Straight down. color and keep on pulling just straight down and then we'll go across and then you have instant water just like that all right back to the knife and some brown I mix up a little bit more out of green and red again side too. 
Alright, I'll take a little bit of white, fresh white paint, pull that out, and cut across and we'll get a little roll of paint. We can come over here and just throw in a couple of water lines, just like this. Just a few, we don't need a whole bunch, just a little. Something like that. And I'll grab a clean brush, take a little bit of white, just a little. We can come up here and put in some splashes right at the bottom of that waterfall. So there would be some foam that crashes up and some mist. And kind of blend right there. I think it's time to add some sticks and twigs, and then we'll call it done. So I hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun. It's kind of different. It's a little bit unique. And uh, if you want to see some more like this, drop a comment. Love to hear from you. So thanks for watching.